All right, hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this uh, alien charm. And uh, I've made it a lot of times because I've just been trying to make a video, but either they're too long or something's always been wrong with it. There isn't no getting along with this. So there's the alien one. Uh, personally, I like this one better. I mean, if you, if you add a nose, it'll look good too. But I just like this one a little better than this one just because this looks, you know. But this is also a robot. It looks a lot alike, but this one has just a more alien figure to it. So let's get started. First off, you're using two rubber bands and a pattern. Uh, you go from here to here, from diagonally, and then diagonally on the other side. And then go down from the first peg to the second peg, then the third peg to the fourth peg. And you do the same exact thing. Thing, same exact thing on the other side. So, first peg to the second peg, second peg to the third, or er, second to the third peg on both sides. Sorry, I messed up on that. And then, before you close it off, you go down first peg to the second peg, second peg to the third peg, and third peg to the fourth peg. Then once you do that, then you want to close it off. So from here to here. Then from here to here. Now I'm using orange. You can use whatever color you want. I'm just in a hurry to get this done. Uh, so that, because I have a certain time limit, it lets me to post. So then you go from here to here. And then you do the body. And you go down to three for the body. So one... Two, three. So you want to do the exact same thing on the other side. After that, you want to make the middle, so you get two rubber bands at a time. Always using two rubber, two rubber bands. Go from that one to that one, that one to that one. After that, you want to uh, get it off, not get it off, uh, loop it off by doing that and that. And you want to loop it four times. So, one, two, sorry, I always mess up when it's in the middle. So after you've capped that off, you want to make the feet, or the legs and the foot. With the legs and the foot you want to get two or, or sorry one rubber band, double it and put it right here. Then after that you want to get two rubber bands, double those and put them right there. Alright then you want to get whatever color you're using for the paw uh, which would be this and double that five times or four times. So one Two, three, well, five times. Four, five. So now, after you do that, you want to do the exact same thing on this side. Then, after that, you want to loop them. Uh, so, you get under the capping band. And you go, sorry, I'm having issues. Go under that, and then grab those. Orange or what I'm using orange, you can use whatever color you'd like. Go under those, I'm doing that, creating the teardrop, and you want to do that for both sides. So, I'm going to pause the video and do this side. Uh, you can just do this side. All right, so after you do that, you want to get your main hook or anything that fits in this little thing, and then do that, and then get your other hook or anything that fits and take it off like that. Then, after that. Same exact thing to this foot. Alright, so now that you have that done, it should look like that with the feet sticking out. And now you want to make the arms. It's almost the same thing as the foot. You get one single rubber band, double it, put it on, same exact spot. Uh, single, double it, 
put it on. The only difference with this is you're using two singles, not one single and then two. So, double it, put it on, double it, put it on. Then you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to cap it off with five times. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to cap the other one off too. One, two, three, four, four, five. Sorry, I messed up. Alright, so now you're going to get under that capping band. It's the exact same thing as the foot. You loop under, you get the orange or whichever color you're using, and you hook it over just like the teardrop. And then you'll do the exact same thing. So you can do that that to this side. All right. Now after you do that, you want to take it off by looping under, then doing that. Then you're gonna do the exact same thing you did with the foot. It's the exact same thing. You're just using less bands uh, for the ones. And you're gonna put all of these right here. Okay, so you're going to do that exact same thing to this foot. So after you're done with that, you want to make the eyes. Sorry, I know I sped up a little bit. I'm just in a hurry now because I realized how long I have left. You have one, two, three, four. So it does that. Then you get one orange, double it, and then put the pink on there. Alright, after you do that, it should look like that, and then you need to make one another eye. Alright, so now you have that, both two eyes. You want to get one orange, double it, and put these two eyes on it. So, do that. So, you want to transfer that. Alright. So after that, you want to put it right on your hook, and then after that, you want to put it on your face. So you put one right here. Alright, so you put... Alright, so then you want to connect both sides. After you do that, both sides on the second peg, and then after you do that, put the eyes up like that. Now you do the same exact thing for the nose that you did with the eyes, if you want to do the nose. Uh, if you don't want to do the nose, then you can just skip this instruction and go forward. So I did the nose, but if you didn't, that's perfectly fine. Uh, so now you just need some tightening bands. You're going to get one single rubber band and put it from here to here. And you're going to do that down the whole entire body. So that's what I'm going to do right now, but I'm going to pause it because I have to reserve time while I do it. So I'll uh, turn it back on when I'm done and show you guys how it looks. And then you can just repeat off that if you uh, didn't catch it. Alright, now that I have that done, it looks like this. Everything's just nice and done. Make sure you double that band. And now you're going to start looping. So you're going to go to the bottom, and you're going to find the top two rubber bands that are there. You're going to go under your cap band. Obviously, that's what you've been doing. Um, and just find those two top rubber bands and see where they go, and then put them there. And then... After that, you're going to reach down, get the other, t the next two, put them where they go, and then you're
our next one should be the middle one. Um, and then you should be done with that part, and then you want to loop the sides all the way up to the shoulder, but not past the shoulder. Uh, because it can ruin if you do it that way. So. Get started on looping to the shoulder. So you're gonna reach under all those bands, grab the bottom two, bring them up. Oopsies. Now I don't know if it's just these rubber bands or what, but the tension is always is very tight on mine right now. So if that's the case, you just want to relieve the tension because my band is singling out like it's gonna break. It's kind of scaring me. So then you want to reach under. You're just gonna do the same thing all the way up to the peg that your hand is on. Then after you get to that peg, after you get to this peg right here, you want to stop and then go to the next side and do the same exact thing. All right, now after you do, after you do that, sorry, you're going to loop the middle all the way up to here, up to the chin peg. After you've looped the middle, you're going to go from here to here and here to here. So you're going to reach under all those bands. Um, you can reach under all those bands. And grab the two that go to the chin. Go all the way down to the chin peg. And you do that on both sides. So after you got done with the shoulders, you want to go under the chin peg and get the top two and loop them to where they go. Um, and you're going to loop them from here to here to here to here to here to here. So you got to figure out where they go, grab the top two and then put them where they go. After you're done with that, you want to go under all those bands, loop up to the top, all the way up to this peg. And you can do that on both sides. After you've done that, you want to loop the middle. And when you loop the middle, you want to loop all the way to the top. So then when you're done doing that, you want to reach under all those, and then grab the bottom two and then come up. So now you're doing from this one to this one. Relieve that tension. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now you're going to do the slip knot uh, going under all those bands. Reaching over. Oops, sorry. Reaching over. Then pulling it through all of those. And then, with that being said, Grab those and tighten them. After you made that slip knot, it's ready to take off the loom. So then you want to go to, from the bottom and just go ahead, take it off, but carefully so your bands don't break because it'd be very bad if you. Um, I'd be very bad if you uh, forgot or if you snap the band when you were done because you know you would have done this whole thing and for nothing and I'm not trying to be rude when I say that I just I've, I've had that happen before and it's definitely not motivating I'm, yeah I think that yeah After you do that, um, after you do that, it should it should look like this. I'm gonna have to play with my face a little bit to make mine look a little normal, but uh, you have to do that normally. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, please. I know it sounds desperate, but please subscribe to the video because we need some new subscribers. We're new on this, and so yeah, please help us by subscribing. Thank you.